Among the greatest artists and architects in Rome, one that surely stands on top is John Lorenzo Bernini. His achievements are legendary, and this legend passed on November 28, 1680. Now of his many accomplishments, the colonnade of Vatican City is perhaps the most impacting. Upon entering St. Peter's Square here in Vatican City, there are immediately some overpowering elements of the square. There's a convex area of cobblestones providing some flooring capable of holding 300,000 people. That leads up to the daunting facade of St. Peter's Basilica. The twin colonnades were commissioned by Pope Alexander VII and built by Bernini between 1656 and 1667. This undertaking brought great debt to the papacy. Bernini intended these sweeping colonnades to symbolize the maternal arms of Mother Church. The double colonnades comprise 284 Dora columns, which are four rows deep, each column over 60 feet high and about six feet in diameter. Just massive. Now on top of these colonnades are 140 statues of various saints, consisting of various popes, martyrs, evangelists, and other vital church figures. These statues were created by Bernini and his apprentices over a period of 40 years. Now these colonnades define the piazza, and to my mind, they define the church. The strength, the immensity, the stability of these columns all depict the nature of the church, which is that anchor, that pillar, that rock for all the faithful to lean upon. Now this architect and builder, John Lorenzo Bernini, may have passed on November 28th, 1680, and many will remember him for generations ahead. But the church will remain even more immovable until the end of time. God be with you. We appreciate you viewing our Manly Minutes. Thank you for whatever donation you can offer to make our content possible. Go to themensacademy.org backslash donate. Thank you.